you're welcome to my channel in this tutorial we are told that using the angles of 45 degree and 60 degree set square as basis construct the angles 112 and a half degree by bisection so we are constructing angle 112 and a half so the first thing you do we are going to draw an inclined line this way from here to here you can see that now you're picking the point let's say the first point here you're giving us point a and this other point here giving us what point b right we know that angle one and two and a half falls in between 90 and 180 so what i'm going to do is this if i take my set square standing on my t square if i move it to this point this is point a i'm going to draw an arc this way i mean a straight line this section you're seeing is for 90 degree right and this aspect here if i extend this to this point let's say this is a this is b and this line here let's call this point to be what point c we know very well that this is like a mirror image of each other let's say this is a this is a b this is c and let me call this point point d or let me say 90 degree let me put it that way right now a b right a and 90 then this b this is 90 degree and AC also here is 90 degree. So whatever I do here, then that is applied here. So a secret I'll be unveiling to you now is this. If I place my 45 degree here, like this, this is barely 45 degree. But if I place my 45 degree here this way, this will become 100 and what? 135 degree. Is that taken? That is 135 degree. That way you should understand because this is zero. This is 90. Whatever I place here will be what? 90 plus 45. You'll be adding. Whatever you do here, you'll be adding it to 90. That means if I take my 60 degree this way, right? The way it is this way now, this is now what? If you are looking at it, your 60 at the left hand side will be what? 30 degree. And your 60 at the right hand side will just be what 60 right so if i place it here your 60 becomes what 30 plus 90 that will be 120 so to save our time i'm taking this and i'm going to draw so drawing this at uh, this axis here i can also place it this way this is also 45 degree so this is my what 45 plus 90 which is what 135 so if you are told to control 135 degree you just barely take your set square 45 degree and you place it here right so when you add 45 plus 90 we're having what 135 which is interesting 45 degree and the other side because we are moving anti-clockwise 0 90 135 is that the key now now we know very well in your mind you know that 135 is equivalent to what 45 degree north west 135 degrees and the same what 35 and 45 degree northwest. Now I will now bisect if I bisect 45, I'm going to be having 22 and a half, right? So let's do that and see. So I'll bisect 45 and 90 here. So when I draw my inclined line this way, where it intersects here, I'll call it A prime. Where it intersects, we'll call it what? A prime prime. Now I'll take my compass at any given radius. I'll place it at A prime. I'll strike an arc. A prime prime. I also strike an arc so where they meet is the half of 45 because from here to here we know it's 45 right which is 45 degree um not west which is equivalent to what 135 degree so if i place it this way i will draw my arc my straight line passing through point c so we're having this You can see that so the angle between this inclined line here to the horizontal 
is giving us 112 one, one, and a half degree because this is half of 45 this is 22 and a half right 22 and a half if you are taking it in terms of cardinal points so this is what we have here 100 and what 112 and a half degree is that a king now there's something i wanted to understand here if i take my protractor now let's just confirm to see if we are correct or we're just making some analysis so if i place my protractor well now what do you notice let's count this is a uh, 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 um 100 110 look at 110 here 110 11 12 and the mid of it's what 1.5 you can see that so this is what we have here and this is how you can construct your angle 112 and a half degree so with what i've shown you in the previous videos you'll be able to construct your or let's just do that and see how it goes let's construct that using our normal um compass and see what will happen so if i place it here let's just make it a little bit around here so if i should draw it here this way or let's just see around here this way and I should be able to call this point. I'll be able to call this point point A and this point here to be what B. I'll do the same thing. I will extend A this way. You can see that. And I'll place it at point A. I'm going to draw a semicircle. Where the semicircle is cutting the horizontal axis, I'll call it to be A prime and here to be what A prime prime. Now, placing my compass at A prime prime, I'll strike an arc. And placing my compass at A prime, I'll also strike an arc. So where they meet is given as point C. So I'll draw a line that will pass through point C. And that will be which we know will be 90 degree. But I don't need 90. What I need is 112 and a half degree. Now we know in between here where it cuts here let's call it to be what point um d so in between d and a it's giving us what 90 and it's like saying d and a prime prime they are mirror image of each other right so if i bisect d and a i'll be having half of 90 which is 45 so let's do that and see so if i place my compass at any given radius place it at d strike an arc place it at a also strike an arc so where they meet, where they meet, I will call it point F. So I'll draw a line passing through point F this way. Paint line first of all. Now this is my 45 degree, right? Which is equivalent to what? Because this is 90. If you add 90 and 45, you'll be having 135 degree. So this is if I'm to look for 135 degree, I'll just stick in this line. But since we are told 112 and a half i'm not going to bisect 45 and 90. so this is d let me call it to be what t where it's inclined to the angle 45 degree let's call it to be t so i'm going to bisect d and t so place your compass here at d draw an, SMA, an arc place it at t also draw an arc also so where they meet at this point i'll call it my point what point arrow so i will now draw my line passing through arrow because when you buy set 45 you're having 112 and a half and when i do that this is i will not take in it so if this is 90 90 plus 22 and a half at the left hand side will be 112 and a half so i'll just take my compass place it this way and i'll draw an arc this way to signify that that is my 100 and 12 and a half one one two and a half degree so this is what we have this is how you can use your c square or your um 45 your compass 
So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Thanks for watching.